Coming to America, too. That's a there's two twos in that. Technically, that'd be coming for America. Are you ready? Hey! Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready for the yeah, Coming to America, too, starring Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall with. Uh, there's a lot of a new, lot of other people. A lot of old faces, new faces. I just know Tracy Morgan's in there. Uh, Trevor Noah makes an appearance. Morgan Couple Freeman. Appearances, yeah. yeah, Morgan Freeman makes an Tiana appearance. Taylor. Um, Wesley uh, Snipes. Uh, Leslie Jones. Leslie Jones, who surprisingly made me laugh a lot. Usually mm-hmm. she doesn't make me laugh in a lot of things, but this movie she was pretty funny. She was pretty funny. Yeah. yeah. Um. I think obviously people are, are uh, universally going to say the first one's still better. The first yeah. one had a more cohesive story, and it had a lot of heart, had some brain too, and it just it was something new and refreshing. And the only struggle of of the second one would try to capture that same magic from the first yeah. one, which it was an impossible task. So I think a lot of the cast members knew that. There was even a line that acknowledged that. Mm-hmm. So I think they just came to have fun. A lot of it seemed improv. Yeah, it seemed like it would have been a blast to be on set. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was just watching, like, some of these transition scenes and some of them just, like, you know, some of the um, the, the festivities going on in this movie. I was just like, I would have loved to be a fly on that wall. That scene, mm-hmm. I love the energy of that scene. Mm-hmm. But, like I said, I, th- I feel like a lot of the cast just wanted to have fun. I You know, they weren't trying to uh, expand the lore of this, this universe. They weren't trying to make sense. They just like, you know what? You guys thought the first one was good. We're going to give you a special treat. We're going to bring the cast back for a reunion and and just play. That's fun, that's yeah. what I felt. Yeah. Um, do you have any thoughts on this movie though? Um, hmm. other than like, it's not better than the first. Um, I mean, I feel like overall it was funny. I mean, yeah. it wasn't like hilarious parts. Yeah, there was yeah. a lot of a lot of really funny parts. There was some parts that I think did fall a little flat. Yeah, no. Um, and, I agree with that too. Yeah, there was just some like plot things that didn't necessarily make sense. So exactly. I was like, I don't know. Like, we're just gonna forget about that. But okay, <laughs> we'll just move on. I guess yeah. pretend like it never happened. If but, you're expecting um, a like well told story, don't. Ex- it's not. I'm just gonna tell you, just throw that one out the window. Not, it's, it's not the one, but <laughs> it's fun to watch. I want to say, like, I would say this movie had heart and soul, but no brain. Yeah. That's that's the best review I can give you. So if you're a fan of the first one. You're gonna probably like this one. You're yeah. gonna like it's, it's it's like going to a reunion. It's not even really about like just m- making the story better. It's just like, hey, I like seeing Eddie Murphy do funny stuff. Yeah, and it was <laughs> cool to see like the old characters again. Mm-hmm. Um, I did like and the, new, the new characters. New characters. I, I don't know who plays characters. his son, but he did he pretty good. He was pretty good. I liked the the hairdresser, the girl. Yes, but, yes, the one so, that he in um in in the story he's in a relationship with. Yeah, um, I liked her a lot too. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I I thought that they were really good. Oh, and of course his sisters. I didn't even know from the trailers that he was gonna have sisters in this movie. So one of them was played by Eddie Murphy's actual daughter. Yep, the middle one. Yeah. I don't know who the little one was, and then the she was cute. the oldest one was the girl that was she in, was the, in the black girl from Old Guard. She's in Old she Guard the and Bill Street can talk. Yeah, you know, she's in both of those movies. So I, um, I'm glad to see more. And of all her. like the, it's always fun to watch like the the dance scenes and stuff like that, yes. that they have in there. Those are like really cool. Could you? I loved probably one of my favorite scenes was watching Wesley Snipes dance. Honestly, he, he was just so extra with it. I forgot how funny it was because like he used to play serious roles. He used to play action roles. Yeah. Like I forgot he started doing in in his beginning of his career. He was a, a comedy actor. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I keep um, forgetting that. No, he's really good. You still have to watch too long too. Yes, Great. I do. I do. And you need to Hilarious. watch White Man White Man Can't Jump. That's your homework. Okay. <laughs> um So yeah, I would say that was good. I did like the I mean Tiana Taylor wasn't really like important that important in the movie, yeah. but I did like her introduction scene. That was actually really, really cool and mm. fun. Like I liked the music and everything and I like yeah. yeah. I think I love the interaction with the family. The uh, even James Earl Jones had a pretty funny part. Oh, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Um, probably the weakest parts for this movie though, I think, was trying to bring back the nostalgia of the first one. Um, but it was it, it, it's like I feel the movie did good when you have these same characters, but you're putting them in different situations. 
that's where I think it did make me laugh. Now, just rewatching the barbershop scene, <laughs> I don't think, you know, they, they weren't as funny as they were before, I guess. I did love the return of ch sexual chocolate, though. I thought that was that was a very funny return. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, did you guys watch Coming to America? What did you think? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Do you think that we've we've lost our minds? <laughs> I just want to recap. I think this movie had a lot of heart and a lot of soul, but not a lot of brains. Yeah. That take that as my review. Overall, it was just a fun watch. It's a fun watch. You don't always need your brain to have be entertained. Yeah. You know, just just. You're off work, just let loose and just watch something. Jeez. This is one of those movies just where you have can fun with it. have fun yeah. with. Absolutely. Help Keith's brother out the street. Subscribe to my dad's YouTube channel. Love Keith's and Chicken.